The Ad Asia event in the capital kicked off on Monday and E.T. now Sonali Krishna caught up with Harish Manwani. She began by asking Manwani about the company's stellar second quarter numbers. I'm more pleased about the fact that we're delivering consistent performance and more importantly we're delivering competitive performance, performance that is ahead of market growth. So uh, I think it's really, uh, it's really a combination of a more consistent performance that is particularly pleasing. How much benefit are you getting from volume growth and better pricing? Well, as you notice from our results, uh, we, got, uh, uh, we got about half and half in terms of volume and price actually a little higher on volume. Uh, out of 18.5% growth, we got uh, close to 10% volume growth. I think that's fairly creditable considering that uh, pricing uh, has been uh, significant. Uh, I think as we move forward, uh, difficult to predict how much of it is going to be volume and how much is going to be price, but we continue to drive volume-led growth uh, as far as possible. And again, our criteria is simple. Can we actually grow ahead of market in terms of volume and value? You know, uh, some analysis on the results also show that, uh, you know, there's been a lot of focus, uh, you know, H Hindustan Unilever has, has moved its focus to NPD and, uh, and really premium, its premium portfolio. Would I be accurate in saying so? And do you think that has been significant in driving these figures? There has been no change in strategy. I think what, what you're beginning to see is some of the manifestation of what we've been doing for now a few years, a couple of years which is essentially to make sure that we focus on our business of today while at the same time we, we invest in businesses of tomorrow. So if you look at our uh, innovation, 50% of our portfolio has really been churned in the last one year.